Hey, you got Trucker Tim here with Double T Sports, and this is a verse in two packs. Today I'm on in a parking area <laughs> in in South Carolina. I'm headed to uh, Macon, Georgia, and uh, I pulled over on the shoulder. This is my Tuesday and Thursday deal. I uh, study up a little bit. Had a great, wonderful, blessing friend who told me months ago. When I started this, the only, uh, maybe I should just do it twice a week because I was going every day, or maybe I should do it Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, And because I'm mostly home on the weekend when I can be. So I started, I thought that was a good idea, twice a week, and everybody's loving it. Uh, I'm trying to do the best I can for y'all, the best for me, because it helps me so much. Uh, and I really got a blessing out of it. Okay, and I've been using this Billy Graham book and talking about a verse a, a, about it because he was one-on-one -on -one with God real close. And I want to be that close, and I'm going to be that close to God one day. Um, so I got a new book, and it's a daily 365 day. It's called, and I'll, right now I'm seeing it backwards, but I, when I do my editing, it'll be flipped around where you can see it. Standing on the Promises, 365 daily assurances of God's love, care, and guidance, our daily bread. So, you know, I read this every day, and the days that I do my video with y'all, y'all will get that verse of the day. But today, I just wanted to show y'all something that I'm going to share. This is a little study guide. Wow, I can't really read it that much, but this is the Passion Week going into Easter, right? This is the Passion Week going into Easter. This is, uh, our deacon gave us this at church. I don't know if you can see it, but it leads all the way up to the day, everything that happened all the way up to the resurrection, okay? So I'm going to try to get this in this week. Today's Tuesday, so let me see if I can get a couple of them in. Read it, y'all. Maybe if I can explain it a little bit, I don't know, because I, I haven't studied up on it. Uh, but maybe we can all get some new insight on it. Oh, i got to get that ear checked out. Anyway, uh, Arrival, the first one is Passion Week. The first one is Arrival in Bethany. Jesus arrived in Bethany uh, so days before the Passover to spend some time with his friends, Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. While here, Mary anointed his feet with costly perfume as an act of humility. The tender expression indicated Mary's devotion to Jesus and her willingness to serve Him. Okay, that's the arrival in Bethany. The second one is Sabbath, the day of rest, which is Saturday. Uh, and uh, since this day was the Sabbath, the Lord spent the day of traditional fashion with his friends. The third one is Sunday. So I'm going to go all the way up to today and then we'll go day by day. I'm going to read this. I'll make a video even if it's a short one every day to get y'all through this. The second one is Sabbath, the day of rest, Saturday. Not mentioned in the Gospels. Since this day was the Sabbath, the Lord spent the day in tradition fashion with his friends. Okay, the third one is the, the Triumphal Entry, Sunday. And it's got four different verses with it. Uh, on the first day of the week, Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a donkey, fulfilling an ancient prophecy. Ze Zechariah, I guess it's Zechariah 9.9. 9. I, I can't see them. The crowd welcomed him with Hosanna, and the words of thus ascribing to him a messianic title 
as the agent of the Lord, the coming King of Israel. Okay, y'all can understand this. And again, I will pop this up there. Y'all can pause it, take a picture of it, and read it yourself. Um, I'm going to go off today. This is Monday. Uh, number four, clearing of the temple. Monday. On this day, he returned to the temple and found the court of the Gentiles full of traders and money changers making a large profit as they gave out Jewish coins in exchange to pagan money. Jesus drove them out and overturned their tables. Okay, and then I'm going to go up to Tuesday. Then I'll say a prayer because I forgot to say a prayer at first. But I'm also going to read this daily bread, so we'll get to that. Alright, number five, day of controversy and parables. This is Tuesday, which today's Tuesday. Uh, in Jerusalem, Jesus evaded the traps set by the by the priest. On the, mount, on the Mount of Olives, overlooking Jerusalem, he caught in parables. He taught in parables and warned the people against the Pharisees. He predicted the destruction of Friends' great temple. Of Herod's, not Friends, of Herod's great temple. And told his disciples about future events, including his own return. Okay, tomorrow's Wednesday, so I will read this one, then I'll wait for Thursday, and I'll go over the rest of them Thursday. The day of rest, which is sixth day, Wednesday, not mentioned in the Gospels. The scriptures do not mention this day, but the counting of the days seems to indicate that there were another day concerning which the Gospels record nothing. Okay, so that's Wednesday. We have four more days. And I will read those out. I'll let y'all read that. If y'all want to take a picture of that, or pause that, where you can go over that. My deacon gave me this to study. This week he's talking about this. So, And Friday, I'm trying to get home early. So I can go see this. It's probably going to be spectacular. We had a small church, but uh, it's supposed to be like seven or eight preachers talking. So many preachers talking, and they have about seven minutes to talk, seven or eight minutes to talk. It's going to be about seven to ten of them. Oh, it's good. I can't wait. I can't wait because I thirst. Like my favorite verse is, I thirst for more. Like that deer panting for water. I, that's me. I want more. And, uh, okay, let me say a little quick prayer, and then we'll get with my verse in two packs. Lord, thank you for a wonderful week, wonderful, wonderful week. Thank you for all the many wonderful blessings that you do for me. I pray that you pour your spiritual protection out over me. I pray that, I pray for you, Lord. I thank you, because you do a lot. You do a lot for us. I pray, and you forgive me for my sins no matter what I do. And you don't have to, but you do. You're always there right behind me. Waiting for me to, if I screw up, you're, you're waiting to hug me. All I have to do is turn around. Thank you for all that you do. Pour your spiritual protection over me. Bless my heart. Bless my mind. And speak through me. Amen. Alright, now for the daily bread. This is April, okay, April 3rd or 4th. Today is the 4th, right? Tuesday, yes. God promises to care for our needs. Getting what you want. Luke 12, 15, 22 to 34. Life does not consist in an abundance of possessions. Luke 12, 15. There's a popular idea floating around about how to get whatever you want. It's called the Law of Attraction. Just think and feel what you want to attract. And the Law will use people, circumstances, and events to imagine, uh, magnetize what you want 
to you and magnetize you to it. The positive thinking philosophy teaches that the energy of our dom dominant thoughts attracts your circumstances. You won't find the idea anywhere in the Bible. As believers, we have good reason to be positive in our thinking, but it's because our Heavenly Father understands our needs and meets them. Now you notice he said, our needs, not our wants. Uh, since he cares for us, we don't have to be anxious. Life goes Life does not consist in an abundance of possessions, so we make it our aim instead to be rich toward God. We do that seeking His kingdom and purpose and be laying up and by laying up treasures in heaven, not for ourselves in this life. Jesus said, Be on guard against all kinds of greed. Be on guard against all kinds of greed. Because one day, like the foolish rich person in the parable in Luke 12, we will leave it all behind, praise the Lord. Yes, that's when we'll... That's when... That's when we'll have more than we had dreamed of. In the meantime, God promises... To care for our needs no matter what the circumstances and that's no secret that is wild and it says and Sateus each day it has a person's name on it so I'm not sure what that means um, I guess they wrote in this I could have wrote the, read the introduction to you I guess by the editor of Tom Felton, but this is a great, great book, and you can get it free. Anybody wants to know about the Daily Bread and wants some free info, let me know. I'll give you the address. I'll give you the info to get some free stuff, to get a book like I get every month. Let's see. Uh, I get this. I get this free every month. But I send them a donation. You don't have to, but I do. I get this free every month. It's our daily bread. March, April, and May. You get that, and it's got, you know, books you can order or a journal. And they'll send it to you free, some of this stuff. You can buy stuff. It's really great. It's really great. And it helps me out a lot. Being on this road, and if I let my mind set idle oh god I can think and think I can think myself into existence of being miserable and depressed and I'm not going to do that that's why we have literature that's why we have the Bible that's why we have the Bible main thing the Bible okay now these help you know but the Bible is the book that's the, the our heart man that's what we need to depend on. Okay. This other stuff, I, you know, like I get this from the deacon, and, and uh, it doesn't hurt at all. That's what church is all about, and that's what having friends is all about. Friends can be a blessing, or they can be a burden. It's according to how you look at it and how you perceive it. But most of the friends, I have a small circle of friends right there. I have a lot of associates and people I love on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Facebook, and on Instagram. But my circle's like this. Sometimes it gets smaller, sometimes it goes back up to that. But they're dedicated, they're loyal, and I trust them with all my heart. And I'm happy, so happy to have them as friends and brothers and sisters. That's what this life is all about, trying to be happy, right? You gotta be trusted to be, to tr you gotta trust people to be trusted. So, 
I'm really loving this, what I'm doing twice a week. Y'all leave a comment, tell me what you think about it. Uh, tell me what you think about what all I just read. Tell me something that you might want to see me do more. I'll pop in a third day. I'll make sure. I'll pop in a third day if I get enough. One or two people that want me to do that. But twice a week I'm doing that. I'm stopping on the side of the road doing this because the Lord has put it in my heart to do this. Uh, it helps me out, like I said. And I, I noticed it helps some of y'all out. Y'all are telling me to keep going. Do it. Do it. Do it. Don't let anybody push me away from this. And I don't. You can push me away from cards. You can push me away from anything. But you're not going to push me away from speaking the gospel that the Lord himself, Jesus Christ, said before he left. Before he left, after 33 and the third day, he said, Y'all can't not go with me. Okay, they wanted to go with him. Y'all cannot go with me. I'm going to prepare a place for y'all. I'm going to prepare a place. Go spread what I've done. All that he's done, all his teachings, all his making people see, walk, talk. Go spread the word and know that I am with you. Know that I am with you always. He is. He's right in my heart, man. He's right here. And I'm spreading the gospel. Nobody can stop me. You can shut off my tablet. You can shut off YouTube. I'll find a way. I'll find a way. All right, I love y'all. God loves you. So do I. Let's, let me show you something. I ripped a pack of cards the other day. And it didn't go through the video. I didn't use my intro. And it... I put it straight to YouTube. It didn't go through, so I erased it. But this is what I hit. It was a pack of Donruss football. I'm nervous. I'm shaking. I've been blessed all afternoon. I've been blessed. Really blessed. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Um, let me get back to this. Care Elam, rated rookie. Um, James Cook, rated rookie. Now this one's wild. It's black. Jaquan Brisker, it's black. It's not the, it's the color of black, rated rookie. It's not blue like the other ones. And then I got a press proof of uh, Laramie Tunsil. First card I've had of his, man. First card I've had of Laramie Tunsil. It was a big trade the Dolphins did for trading him. And the Laramie Tunsil trade still goes on today with the Dolphins, man. On different draft picks. It goes on a CD Lamb. Another James Cook rated rookie. Rated rookie, yeah. James Winston with the Saints. I don't know if he's with the Saints anymore, but he's on this card. And it's all blue. They're blue and blue letters. And then I hit a good one here. If nobody wants to buy it or something, I'm going to put it on eBay. J.K. Dobbins. I've been selling a couple cards a week on eBay. It's pretty cool. I sell them cheap, no matter how much, you know, anywhere from 99 cents to 5 bucks. So, J.K. Dobbins. So, yeah, I got, if y'all want my eBay, go to my, my link will be in the description uh, for my link tree. You can get to any of my social events there. I'm going to start putting a little other stuff there, other people's stuff. Um, so y'all can get to it and access it easy. My PayPal, um, my address, whatever. Get with me if you want to send me some packs. I'll work out a deal on some cards. I'll trade you some cards for some packs to keep on with my verse and two packs here. Okay? Now, uh, 
Where are we at? 19? Alright, I won't open that pack. I got one pack left I got from Rafa. My brother in Christ, my pain in my butt. I got one pack left. I'm going to open it. And uh, then we'll go on down the road. Trucking up. I'm so happy. God makes me so happy. It's the only thing. That, wow. He sure knows how to put blessings in our life. It's people, things, people, things, whatever. He knows how to put put a blessing in life. And this is a blessing to you. Some of my friends are just true blessings. Uh, we've seen this once before. I've had one other pack of it. Let's see what we hit up is. Beautiful, beautiful. to collect all 63 pieces of, of Ron Carew. So I've got some of it already. So that's a puzzle piece. So we have Barry Larkin, Studio 91. I probably should have saved this back and not opened it. Well, it's too late now. Uh, Joe Aquindo. I appreciate it. I've got some packs from people too that help me. With, I save it. I don't use it for my personal, you know, jumping on here and open it. I use it for the verse and two packs. So anybody wants to make a deal or just send me some packs for this verse and two packs, I'm not asking you to do it. You're not obligated. But if you want to, to help the channel grow more, I will accept it and I'll give you my address. Steve Finley. We have David Valley. I've backed off from the cards some, opening so much, not because of anybody or anything. It's because I, I, I need more space. I need to not spend so much money. Because then all I do is I turn around and sell the ones I don't need or want. I get my personal collection out of it and then. Uh, and then I end up having to sell them, and I don't, want, I don't, I don't have time to do all that. Lou Whitaker. If I open up some sometimes like this, uh, I enjoy it though. I can't get away from it. Ruben Sierra, Brett Saberhagen. Cal Ripken Jr. Mickey Moore Morandin. And anybody that needs help on their channel, let me know. I'll try to do what I can. If that means... Let me get this out of here. Ryan Sandberg. Killer card right there at the very end. Alright. Um, if anybody needs help on their channel too, uh, that may be getting close to a thousand, or have hit a thousand, need watch hours, let me know. Send me a comment or an email. Tmathis644 at gmail.com Tmathis644 at gmail.com I will leave your I will put your playlist on my tablet, cut the light down while I'm driving down the road all night long while I'm driving I'll leave it running I'll help you get your watch hours up I don't expect a thing from it I helped uh, somebody else, they sent me some packs uh, sent me a few cards I don't need, I don't expect nothing I will help. That's what it's all about. In this world's helping people. Helping each other. Be kind and not all the shooting and all. I hear my old hometown, Memphis, Tennessee is where I'm from. I was born there. Every night they have a shoot. My golly, man, don't these folks have something better to do? Get with some cards. Why you gotta be out, out partying and doing dope and shoot? Come on. Look at God. He is the way, the light, the way. He is our future. 
so I'm not pushing it on you, you know. If you like just watching my videos, cool. I'm not trying to force God on you. I appreciate everything that y'all do for me, though. Watching the videos, getting a thumbs up, sharing it out, saying hi to me in the chats. That's real important right there, saying hi. That's it. Hey, I love you. God loves you, so do I. Tell somebody today, even if it's your wife or kids, say, hey, God loves you, so do I. It might. Click on a like bulb. All right. Whoop, whoop. This is Trucker Tim with a verse of two packs. Peace.